Excavators of Tel Asafi, the Philistine city of Gath, have made many discoveries over the last 20 years of excavations, but in 2015 they found the monumental gate of Gath from the time of Goliath, which was its most famous resident. It is one of the largest city gates ever found in Israel, attesting to the importance of the city 3,000 years ago. A rare 3,000-year-old seal from the time of King David in the 10th century BC was recently discovered by a 10-year-old Russian volunteer at Jerusalem's Temple Mount Sifting Project. The seal is the first of its kind to be found in Jerusalem. The dating of the seal corresponds to the historical period of the Jebusites and the conquest of Jerusalem by King David, as well as the construction of the temple and royal official compound by his son King Solomon. What makes this discovery particularly significant is that it originated from the Temple Mount itself. Archaeologists have discovered a rare 3,000-year-old inscription of a name mentioned in the Bible. The name Eshbal ben Bedi appears on a large ceramic jar. Eshbal of the Bible was the son of King Saul. It is the first time the name has been discovered in an ancient inscription. It is only one of four inscriptions discovered from the biblical 10th century BC Kingdom of Judah. When King David is said to have reigned, archaeologists pieced together the inscription from pottery shards found at a 2012 excavation in the Valley of Elah in central Israel. More than four decades ago, an archaeologist discovered a scroll in the ruins of an ancient settlement built near the Dead Sea. Found inside a holy ark, the fragile document was so badly burned that the scientists decided to not risk unrolling it, lest it crumble to pieces. Kept safe in storage ever since, the scroll has held onto its secrets until now. University of Kentucky professor Brent Seals used digital imaging software he developed to analyze the x-rays from a computer tomography scan of the scroll. Israeli archaeologists were amazed to see the first eight verses of the book of Leviticus, making the 1,500-year-old scroll the oldest known book of the Bible outside the Dead Sea Scrolls. In 2004, during the construction work to repair a large water pipe south of Jerusalem's Temple Mount, on the ridge known as the City of David, archaeologists excavated part of a monumental pool where Jesus performed the miracle of restoring sight to a blind man in the Gospel of John. Uncovered during excavations in Jerusalem's Jewish quarter during the 1970s, this 22-foot tower with walls 12 feet thick helped defend Jerusalem against the Babylonian invasion in 586 BC. Around the base of the tower, a thick layer of charred wood, ashes, and soot bore witness to the raging fire that accompanied the Babylonian destruction. Among the charred rubble, excavators found five arrowheads, four of iron and one of bronze, the bronze arrowhead was of the Scytho-Iranian type used by the Babylonian army. The iron arrowheads were typical of those used by the Israelites. Lying in the ashes, these five small artifacts give testimony to the furious clash that preceded the fall of Jerusalem. There have been those that argue that the crucifixion of Christ was a hoax because this was not a form of capital punishment in Christ's time. However, we have skeletal remains that have been found that verify the crucifixion was being done and that crucifixion was done exactly as outlined in the biblical narrative. Uncovered in 1978 was an ossuary box, or bone box, which was found north of Jerusalem containing the bones of a man who had been crucified. His name was Yeho Hanan, the son of Hagakal. He is thought to have been between 24 and 28 years of age and was about 5 feet 6 inches in height. In 1979, two silver scrolls that were worn as amulets were found in a tomb at Katif Hinnom, overlooking the Hinnom Valley, where they had been placed around the 7th century BC. The delicate process of unrolling these scrolls while developing a method that would prevent them from disintegrating took three years. Brief as they are, 
the Amulet's rank as the oldest surviving text from the Hebrew Bible. Upon enrolling the Amulets, biblical archaeologists found two inscriptions of significance. One is a temple priest blessing from the Book of Numbers, which says, The Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance to you and give you peace, which is from Numbers 6, 24-26. The other is the very name of Yahweh, the name of the Lord, from which we get the English Jehovah. The amulets predate the Dead Sea Scrolls by 500 years and are the oldest known example of the Lord's name in writing. This stone tablet was found in Caesarea on the Mediterranean coast. The tablet was found in the theater of Caesarea and bears an inscription mentioning the name of Pontius Pilate, the procreator of Judea and in Tiberium, which was the edifice built in honor to the emperor Tiberius by Pilate. There has been much written to try to discredit the biblical narrative in regard to the existence of Pilate. This tablet clearly says that it was from Pontius Pilate, prefect of Judea and verifies that he was a person that lived during the time of Jesus, exactly as written in the biblical narrative.